Well, good morning. You know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna take five minutes, we're gonna deadhead some flowers. Now, deadheading sounds easy. Wait, squirrel, let me show you my rocks. Look at how pretty those are. That's a piece of driftwood I found in Fontana Lake the week of our motorcycle accident, the infamous, never to be lived down. Uh, and the rocks we found when we took a trip out southwest earlier this year. Go through the sunflower, Budlia jungle. Okay, some of you may have seen me. I'm making my way out to my echinacea. It's morning, look at how pretty the sun is. Okay, so some of you may have seen me plant this echinacea. Come on, get that where it belongs. Some of you may not have, but if you look, let's see, can we see? We have some blooms that are spent. So on your perennials or your annuals, if you have blooms that are spent, sharp, you want sharp. Clippers, scissors, something sharp. Some plants you can just pick to pink pinch. There we go, it's morning. I haven't finished my coffee. Pinch is a hard word. So you're gonna get your scissors. You're gonna go to the first leaf and that's where you're gonna make your snip. Can everybody see that? First leaf, snip, done. This one, first leaf is way closer. Let's get this turned a little bit so you can see better. There you go, first leaf, way closer. And I can tell these are done because they don't have any little petals on them anymore. No petals. Uh, this one, let me get my hand out of the way so you can see better. Okay, I'm gonna come from behind. So I got my little flower right here and there's my first leaf, snip. These scissors need to be sharpened. This guy, this leaf is way down here. I got like six inches. This little guy, one inch. And I find it easiest if I just slide my scissor along the stem and that helps me find the leaf. This guy isn't done, but he's all broken up. Okay, you got an inch. Now, don't confuse. Can you see this little guy? This little guy, that's a brand new baby. You can see the little petals just coming out. Don't confuse that for one that needs to be gone. Um, this one down here, it's looking a little ragged. So we're just gonna call it a day, even though it still has some petals. Uh, Cause these, oh, this one got broken. Cut that off. Another broken one down here. We're gonna cut it off where it's broken. Another broken one up here. Gonna cut that for where it belongs. I think the breaks occurred in the move. All right, so we don't have any more dead flowers. Our plant looks a little better. And sometimes, <laughs> camera hard <laughs> morning, sometimes it encourages your plants to rebloom. Uh, definitely for annuals and mostly for perennials. So you can get a longer blooming season and you see how fast that was? That was quick. So just get your cup of coffee or whatever your morning beverage is, go out into your garden or your patio with your flower pots, take a pair of sharp scissors. Ah, <laughs> I'm trying to manage my camera. I'm so no good at this. And uh, give things a little snippy snip. If you do it once a day, literally, it took three minutes. It was nothing. It's not a big job. If you have, if you have a yard like this, Look at this, this is ridiculous. Oh, that pond's so pretty though, right? Look at all of that. Okay, so there might be a lot of deadheading in this yard, that's possible. But I don't worry about it too much. I deadhead the things that speak to me and I don't worry about the rest of them. So get out there and do your retirement deadheading. It's not like back in the 60s when we followed the band, not like that at all. Although, yeah, I mean, it could be. If you did it right, totally could be. Go deadhead.